Steve is an interesting character because if you watch the original Full House, do you think he's like a dopey, a dopey wrestler without, you know, not much going on upstairs, except for his passionate love of DJ and, um, and his love of proms and, um, and food. And, um, but anyway, you fast forward to present day and he's one of the Bay Area's most successful podiatrists and, um, and a, uh, a divorcee. I'm Steve Hale, damn it. <laughs> I was Bay Area Podiatrist of the Year in 2012. But the thing about Steve that's consistent is his love of eating and his love of DJ. So I think what my favorite DJ Steve moments are one of the 47 proms they've been to. Um, you know, I took DJ Candace Cameron Bure, I took her to the prom in real life too, which was really fun. Um, so yeah, we've been to a lot of proms together on the original Full House in our real life on Fuller House, we've been to proms. Now we're the chaperones. But um, yeah, no, but Steve and DJ, um, we've had a lot of great moments. And um, she broke up my wedding in Japan. That was very exciting. We got a lot of history, we go way back. Steve, hi. Hi back, you look great. The first time I was on Full House, I was just a, it was a guest appearance. I played a guy named Steve Peters and uh, DJ, was supposed to be babysitting, but she really wanted to go out with Steve Peters because he had great hair, uh, which he did back in those days. And um, uh, we snuck out to the movies and DJ got in lots of trouble. But then anyway, the following season, I was Steve Hale. I was a different Steve, apparently, who she fell in love with on her uh, summer abroad in Spain. Everybody, this is Steve. Hi, Steve. <laughs> And um, he's a, it was a great character. It was a great. It was really fun being on the show, and everybody was very welcoming. Um, it was just a cool experience. You know, when you join a show that's been a hit show for a lot of seasons, you don't know what you're going to get, or if people are going to be excited to have you, have a new dude there. It was like joining a club, but everybody made me feel at home really fast. You know, I think that Steve and DJ, I think they did a great job portraying a real teen relationship. But the way the way they broke up, the way they realized that they were going to go off to college and had the whole world ahead of them and that they needed to sort of take a break and see how it went and um, I, th I thought they handled the relationship really really well. It was interesting to me there was something about the Steve and DJ relationship that really became a big deal that I didn't see coming. I didn't anticipate that you know I think for example now in Fuller House you have um, all the old school fans of, of Full House who were like have been waiting decades for Steve and DJ to get back together. And um, I think it's really touching and cool that that relationship meant so much to a lot of people. So what are you saying, we should break up? It's a scary thought. But yeah, Love on the Rocks, that was a sad episode. And the reason why Steve and DJ broke up originally was it was my fault, because I wanted to um, go to college. I, was, um, I had really enjoyed being a kid actor, it was really cool but I was concerned about my future. And uh, I deferred a year after high school before going to college. And then uh, finally I was like, I think if you, if you defer more than that, they make you apply again. So uh, I didn't want to risk that. So I, I, I sat the producers down and I told them my plans and they were very supportive. And next thing you know, love was on the rocks. I love how devoted Steve was to DJ. I thought it was, an, it was a really sweet high school romance, how much they loved each other. And Steve was funny because he, he did thoughtless things sometimes, like, okay, so like the year, the Christmas when DJ bought Steve that incredible gazillion dollar leather bomber jacket, and he gave her a sweatshirt from Daytona Beach University. I don't expect anything special in return. It's just a Daytona Beach University sweatshirt. I hope you like it. Maybe I should have sprung for the sweatpants too. I mean, get a clue, man. But, um, but his heart was in the right place. So I was already in college when Full House, the final season, which we didn't know it was the final season. When I came, we didn't know it was the series finale. We just thought it was the season finale. And um, uh, there was this whole storyline about how DJ got stood up. Her date to the prom couldn't take her. And so they came up with this idea that I would leave college, fly to LA, hide out in a trailer behind stage 24. And it was sort of torture because I was dying to like hang out with everyone on the set, but they wanted to keep it a surprise for the tape night. Don't worry, I scrounged up another date for you. I'm afraid to ask. Come on, Deeves, let's get going. I don't want to miss the buffet. <laughs> Steve! 
when the door opens and Kimmy says, don't worry, DJ, I've got some other date for you, and I walk in, they, everyone was genuinely surprised. Nobody knew I was there, which was really cool. But I had to hide in a trailer in the back all day. It was a bummer. Got my homework done. I think that for, for me, the two things that people always ask me about for Steve is, do you really eat that much in real life? And uh, the answer is yes, I really actually do. My son called me on it. He's like, is that why Steve eats so much? Because you eat so much? And I said, no, I don't think so, but I definitely do eat like that. Um, and then uh, the, uh, the thing that people always want to know about is the, uh, the uh, Aladdin costume in Disney World. Steve! I mean, I did 50 episodes of the show, but that that's the one that everybody talks about. So one of the, one of the producers of the original se uh, series told me that his favorite line from Full House ever, from all eight seasons or nine or whatever they did, was, <laughs> so there's this episode where um, uh, I think Vicki Larson, who is Danny Tanner's girlfriend, made goat cheese and pesto pizza. And none of the kids wanted to eat it because it was goat cheese and it was green and it was disgusting. And, um, but Steve, of course, gave it a try. So, Steph, what do you think of goat cheese now? Good food, bad name. You know, I learned something today. If it comes out of a goat, I'm eating it. <laughs> and this guy said that was his favorite line of the whole series, which I was, I was very flattered. Yeah, well, my favorite Steve Danny moment was when he, uh, when he, when I wrestled him. He came to, he, we, he came to have a private moment with me after he was concerned because uh, um, he wanted to know where the relationship with his daughter was going and was I being fresh, and uh, as my mom would say. And um, he shows up at my wrestling practice and we ended up wrestling on the ground, which was really fun. I have to say, being on Fuller House might be even more fun than the original because I did not see this coming. I have, uh, I'm very happy in my career as a television writer and I had no plans of ever being on camera again. And they called and they said, hey, do you want to just be in this reunion episode? We're making a Full House reboot. And it's just one episode. And so I went and it was fun. And all of a sudden, here we are like five seasons later. It was totally unexpected. And it's just, I'm just enjoying it for what it is. I'm not looking to get my next acting gig from it, but um, it's just been a, so cool to get back together with these people that I love so much and, uh, and have known for so many years. We're back on our original soundstage where we made the original Full House. And um, I mean, I got my same parking spot from when I was 17 years old. It's really weird. And, uh, but I'm loving every second of it. And now we're getting ready to shoot the fifth and final season and uh, hopefully really cool stuff will happen on the show. But um, I think going into it knowing this is it, it'll be a really cool special, special season. <laughs>